When did barbecue stop being an art? When did it become synonymous with this childish, lowest common denominator idea of manhood? When did it become more about testosterone than skill? Well, luckily, there's still some people, even here in Lexington, treating barbecue like an art. So the point of this video series is to uh, kind of express things that I love about Lexington. In spite of that, I'm self-aware enough to know that Lexington has always kind of been on the verge of being something else. Um, we're not quite the South. Uh, our music scene has almost taken off several times. And we're not really thought of as a barbecue town. So in spite of that, uh, Blue Door Smokehouse has opened up downtown and is just doing incredible work how did that happen in downtown Lexington um, you know I just uh, I think you're right Kentucky I think that's a, a good way to put it it's just uh, we've almost done a lot of things um, we really don't have an answer why you know we got to be kind of so popular except that we just really have committed ourselves to just smoking fresh every day always serving you know the highest quality stuff that we can and really uh, just loving what we do you know and just always thinking about you know what is going to please the customer um, there's really no secret to what we do there's no secret recipes or you know anything like that um, we'll give you any recipe that you want um, it just really comes down to just working hard every day and uh, just really keeping it simple and focusing on just a few things that we do yeah I mean on the brisket it's just salt and pepper everybody's like what do you put on this and we're just like it just salt and pepper. You know, Anthony Bourdain has a quote that the only people who know anything about brisket are Texans and Jews. So, um, did you guys know going into this, brisket was going to be your secret weapon? Did you know how popular it was going to be? Yeah, we brisket was definitely like. Uh, there's a lot of bad brisket, and actually, I am Jewish, so I've got a little bit of that. <laughs> so you, you know, you know um, so you know, we kind of grew up eating that. Obviously, not smoked in this style, but. Um, there's the brisket in Texas is phenomenal uh, not everywhere of course uh, sure. just like anywhere you know any kind of cuisine there's good and there's bad but there's some stuff going on in Texas that's just absolutely fantastic and uh, we said you know we want to have that because we've had a lot of bad brisket so um, it's uh, you know just kind of one of those sayings and you say, let's do this right, and let's make this, you know, the, the best that we can. And everybody does pulled pork. Um, and there's, you know, just like with anything else, there's good and there's bad all over the place. So, um, you know, we just, in general, just want to focus on the quality of the meat. That's the most important thing. And uh, customer service too, but definitely the brisket was like, let's do it differently and let's, you know, put a little extra care into it and, and just try to make it awesome. So let me get both your opinions on this. Barbecue, delicious. What is the perfect side for barbecue? You only get to pick one side. What side are you eating barbecue? Um, I would probably have to say uh, potato salad. Potato salad? Just because, yeah, it's, it's so simple, but, you know, it's just, it's got to be, you know, we taste everything every single day. We make the mix pretty much every day. And, you know, the potatoes cooked right, and then you want to get a nice mixture, you know, like, good hearty scoop I, I you know I probably agree um, and not just with just potato salad but our potato salad uh, <laughs> with our brisket is yeah. a really good combination because when we do a sour cream base um, kind of like the old Stanley J's um, kind of stole their kind of flavor profile uh, which was delicious and everybody in town that ever went there you know loves it um, but it's a base with sour cream so like the brisket with just the salt and pepper and then the sour cream baked potato salad with the green onions and it's almost like a steak and baked potato kind of combination which is obviously you know one of the, the classics. Jeff you went to the American Culinary Institute. Culinary Institute, the Culinary of, America. Institute of America. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so most people wouldn't necessarily associate that education with barbecue. How, how has that influenced what you do? Yeah I mean it's uh, it, it's definitely a big influence and I mean at, at culinary school wherever you go um, <clears throat> you're learning the basics 
but I think what the chefs there would like you to learn the most is how to understand food. So both of us have a fine dining type of background. That's we met working in a fine dining restaurant years ago. And what it does is it, you know, instead of saying, oh, this doesn't taste right, okay, we'll do it the same way tomorrow, which some places do, you know. I mean, some people just don't have that understanding, but we say, you know, how can we make this better? Or what did we do wrong? Or what did we do right? And uh, just that kind of mentality, whether you're making grilled cheese sandwiches or you're making, you know, three Michelin star meals, there's always a, you know, a way to look at it differently and, and kind of, you know, pinpoint what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong. One of the things I like to ask the people I interview is, what do you love about Lexington? So as restaurateurs, where do you love to eat? Middle Fork, definitely. Yeah. I know you've worked with them. That's probably our favorite place. Uh, if you haven't been to Middle Fork yet, for all the viewers or listeners and everything, you got to get to Middle Fork. Um, Taqueria Ramirez for like real authentic yeah. Mexican tacos. Agreed. Sahara for Mediterranean. Oh, so um, <laughs> you know, Crank and Boom ice cream. You know, I mean, every there's so much good stuff going on here. Yeah. Um, it's turned into a food town. It, it definitely has. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and there's always new stuff. I mean, we're involved. You know, with a, a lot of local restaurant owners and other chefs and stuff. Um, you know, they come in and we conversate with everybody and just try to, you know, kind of keep up with what's going on. And everybody's always talking about, you know, doing something new and different. And, uh, you know, it, it just, you just got to keep on rolling. And, uh, excuse me, there's just always, uh, there's always something new happening and people are trying new stuff. Um, and I'll tell you, we don't use a lot of local ingredients here, but the places that do, like Middle Fork, you know, Dudley's Azure, you know, kind of the, the higher end places, the new lockbox. Um, the, the, the farm culture here, farm to table, is, is heavy. I, I, I can't mention farm to table without saying like Holly Hill Inn yeah. and all the stuff that WIDA does. Um, but uh, it is incredible. You go to the farmer's market. I go on Sundays at Southland and uh, I mean, it's just incredible. So those ingredients are, you know, they're getting, you know, push through these restaurants with just super high quality stuff. Um, but uh, I, I think my, if I had to pick one place, got to be Middle Fork. Um, if Yamaguchi's was still in business, uh, I'd probably put Yamaguchi's just a step above Middle Fork. Sorry, Mark. Um, Mark might agree <laughs> though too. I think he'll take that. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're right up there together. I'm just really, people like us that are just passionate about doing what they do and just like really digging in. You, you won't go, you never went to Yamaguchi's and didn't see Mr. and Mrs. Yamaguchi. We're the only two employees. Yeah. You don't go to Middle Fork and not see Mark behind the wood fire grill. And that's just the way it is, yeah. you know, so. That's awesome, guys. Thank you all so much for your time. I love your restaurant. I love your food. Love what you're doing. And I appreciate you guys giving me a little time. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Yeah. Glad to have thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, brother. Thank you.